Hi there and welcome. My name is Marcos with Maven Imaging. I'm one of the support engineers here. Today we're going to be going over the Opal Rad software and the basic tool set of that system. So we're going to start by opening the software here. This brings us to our study list. We're going to select one of our studies here. We're going to open that by just double clicking. All right, now we have our study open. A few things right off the bat that we can do here with our scroll wheel, we can go between different exposures that we have in the study. If you left click and hold, it will magnify wherever your cursor is. If you right click and hold, you can change the image contrast by going to the right and to the left, as well as up and down. By clicking and holding the middle scroll wheel and going up and down, you can zoom. And then you've got your basic tools. Reset image state is just going to basically reset any of the image manipulation tools that you may use. We can invert the contrast here by selecting this tool here. You've got your rotate left, you've got your rotate right, flip vertically, flip horizontally. One to one view, fit image to window, magnify lens. That is going to be if you left click, that turns the magnification off. Zoom image, click and hold, and then it's the same tool as the middle scroll wheel is. If you click hold, go up, that scrolls in. If you go down, that scrolls out. Hit fit image to window if you want to reset that. We've got pan image here. So if we wanted to scroll in and left click and hold, you can pan the image that way. Then we've got annotation edit mode. This is the mode in which you can manipulate any of the annotations that you have placed and you can change the positioning of them. And then we've got this setting, do not keep last created annotation active. So if you want to make multiple annotations in quick succession, then you would change this to the off position show you here with the arrow tool. We've got that selected. You're going to click once to give the first position. Click a second time to give the second position. Now with this option off, you can continue to create arrows. With this selection on, as soon as you make your selection, then it turns off. the tool and you can manipulate the positioning of the annotation. To delete any annotation, make sure you're in annotation edit mode, select what you want to delete and hit the delete key, or you can right click and hit delete annotation. You do have to have it selected. Or your third option is just right click and delete all annotations. Moving on to the measurement tool. This one you just click the first time to set the first position, second time to click the second position, and then that'll give you your annotation. You can move your annotation afterwards. Your 
your angle measurement. Your first click is going to be the corner of the angle. Second clip is going to be the first opening. And your third is the, the second opening. And then you can set the positioning of the annotation. Our Cobb Angle tool will set the first by clicking twice. And then we'll set the second by clicking twice. And finally, you can place the annotation wherever you'd like to. Left marker, right marker, text. Just click anywhere on the screen, input your text, hit OK, and then you can manipulate the position from there. Your shutter box is going to be a two click, and that'll gray out everything that is not in the little box. Select that and delete it to get rid of that window. Magnify, very similar, it's going to take two clicks to select to create your window. And then you can move that wherever you'd like to. The center of the image is where it's going to be zoomed to. You have your auto window level tool. You use this one in the same way that you use the, la the previous two tools. It's two clicks to create a window. It doesn't work on some of these test images, but what that will do is it will automatically adjust the contrast to whatever it thinks is the optimal contrast. We've got shutter freehand. That's a click and hold, and then surround what you want the subject to be, let go, and that will darken everything else out. The perfect circle tool, this one's three clicks. And then you've got your shutter eclipse, and this one gives you a circle to shutter. You've got the display management tool. This one, uh, it will save the contrast and different display settings for every image in the study. And you can also save it as an overall presetting for all exposures that you take. Then we have bone enhance. This one's going to sharpen the image so you can see so you can see the end of the bones better. This can always be reset. Contrast enhance. This one automatically enhances contrast. And then you can deselect that if you'd like. Alright, some shortcut keys that we have at our disposal here. A will toggle your toolbar. F is going to be fit to window. So if you have your zoom out of whack, then you just hit F and that resets the image. L is auto link series. If you'd like to link it to another image in the series, you can do so with L. T, true size. That is another way of using one-to-one. -one. C is automatically show and hide cut lines. K is key image. That sets a state in the image, so if you make some different changes, then you can undo back to that state. O is to show and hide the overlay information. And zero is to reset to original contrast. So if we wanted to change the contrast, we can hit zero to bring that back. And then you have zero that will reset to the original contrast. So if we have changed anything in the image by right clicking and 
dragging up or down, then you can hit zero to go back to the original contrast. And then we have the multiple view tools. And you set that by scrolling using the scroll wheel on your mouse to select which image. And you can do so. The same thing with each of these different views. You can always go back to one row, one column to go back to the initial view. And then you've got a custom layout menu that you can use for a, a wider variety of different layouts. Patient priors. You can use this to open up the prior studies that you have under this patient as linked by the patient ID. Then you have exam notes. patient reports, refreshing the study that if you are working on the same study in multiple places in the office that'll just give you the most up-to-date information. Then you have x-ray stitching. This is where you'll go to stitch together multiple x-rays to a larger exam for a larger document. This doesn't work with um, the images that we have in here currently. You have DICOM print. That is to print an image on a DICOM printer if you have one set up. Paper print, this will just print it directly onto paper. And then you've got save, that'll just save any of the changes that you've made. Export, this will allow you to export the images to anywhere on your computer. And that shows each of the exports. All right, now you have these uh, tools here. Open, auto open next study, just goes to the next study. Once you are completed with this, if you save, and close the file. Turn that on and off. Minimize viewer will minimize your viewer. And then you've got close study, which closes the viewer completely. And we've got a few things here, just quick access tools. We've got the vertical align tool straight line down the center of the image, which you can change the positioning of. Then we have George's line. Press escape to finish the markings. of the annotations as well. Then we have center point. Horizontal offset. That gives you the offset of from true horizontal. We've got lumbar curve.
we have C spine analysis. And those are just uh, a few basic tools. We're going to get into the advanced chiropractic tool set in another video. So thank you guys so much for watching our videos. As always, we're happy to take your support. If you want to give us a call, our phone number is 1-800-949-8015, option number two. And we'll see you on the next one.